We will start a collaboration in November, the end of November, where we will have a concert together with the Chœur de la Parade de Dijon, with whom we have had a very fruitful partnership in the past years already. Uh, you know, we have done Beethoven 9, uh, Symphony Number no. 9, we have done Brahms' German Requiem, uh, we have done a Schubert Mass in the past season. And in, now, in the new season, we are continuing this collaboration and our concert is going to be focusing on beloved and well-known French opera arias and opera choruses. And we will repeat the concert twice in the stage of the auditorium. It will be a kind of a gala and uh, it will be a lot of fireworks and well-known tunes and uh, very popular melodies, so it will be a delight for the audience. Then we continue our partnership in January, where we will do our first lyric production of the season, um, Il Turco in Italia, Italia uh, the Turk in Italy, where we will have four representations around the middle of January, and it will be conducted by a well-known Italian conductor who is uh, specializing in uh, bel canto Italian repertoire. And then moving on, in the beginning of March, the 4th of March, we will have our first um, symphonic concert of the season in the uh, programmation of the uh, Opera de Dijon. It will be uh, focusing, the focus point will be Schumann's first symphony. And uh, we will open the concert with um, a long uh, weighted and long projected uh, piece that we have commissioned by um, a very talented young French composer, Aurélien Maestracci. This premiere couldn't take place last year, uh, but uh, now this year, on an even bigger stage, it will be presented. It will be a world premiere, and um, we are all very much looking forward to welcoming uh, Aurélien um, in the auditorium. Then the concert goes on with a um, well-known cello concerto by Edward Elgar, and that is going to be played by another young and upcoming and also very exciting French artist, Victor Julien Laferrier, who um, I have worked with together in Russia a couple of years ago, and I'm very, very excited to welcome him here in Dijon as well uh, as a soloist. And uh, the second half of the concert is going to be Schumann's fa famous first symphony. In the, on the 5th of April, a month later, we will continue our symphonic presence in the stage of the auditorium. It will be also featuring a Schumann Symphony, Schumann Symphony number no. 3, and what I'm hoping uh, to make a series in the coming seasons um, to play all the symphonies of Schumann. So this season we are going to play 1 and 3. On the 5th of April, uh, we are closing our concert with the 3rd Symphony. And before, we will um, play music of Eastern and Central Europe. We will start with Bartók's famous uh, dance suite. Uh, that is a brilliant and sparkling piece, very virtuoso for the orchestra and has a lot of great rhythms and tunes. And then we continue with um, Shostakovich's uh, very famous second piano concerto that he has written for his son at that time, uh, for his graduation when Shostakovich's son was 18. It has beautiful melodies, it has also very uh, jolly rhythms and uh, uh, great uh, folk tunes, folk tune-like um, fragments that are going to be uh, presented by the Orchestra Dijon Bourgogne. Our soloist for that concerto is going to be um, a Russian soloist who is also in his early 30s, uh, Denis Kozukin. And then, rounding up the season, uh, we are going to play another opera, and that is going to be uh, the Mede of uh, Luigi Cherubini. That is going to be in the original French language, uh, directed by a French conductor. And um, we will also have a couple of representation in May. So, as you can see, it's a very, um, very colorful season with two operas, two big and very important symphonic concerts and uh, a gala performance uh, together with the um, Corte de l'Opera de Dijon.